Hello guys, this is Dhruv and in this video what we are going to do, we are going to discuss a problem uh, from August Long Challenge 2020 Division 2. So this problem is a uh, smallest KMP, the problem code is SKMP. So uh, what we are going to discuss in this video, we are first going to discuss about the problem statement that uh, what problem wants from us, how to approach this. Okay, so after understanding the complete problem, we are going to uh, discuss the approach, what we are going to follow to solve this particular problem. And in last, I will discuss the solution. First is naive solution and after that I will discuss the optimal solution for this problem. Both the solution is accepted. Okay. So uh, let's move on to the solution. Uh, let's move on to the problem description. So problem is something like chef has a string S. He also has another string P called pattern. So we have two strings. Uh, first one is S and another one is P. That P string is called as pattern. So he wants to find the pattern in S. So we have uh, to find the pattern P in the given string S. But that might be impossible. So here is a condition that uh, this, uh, con this uh, uh, problem might be impossible. Okay, so therefore he is willing to reorder the character of S in such a way that P occurs in the resulting string and anagram of S as a substring. So uh, we have to do firstly what is anagram? Anagram is a word uh, which is derived from another word by reordering their characters. Okay, so. Uh, in this uh, problem what we have to do we have to uh, redesign or reorder the character of s in such a way that we got p as a substring in s okay since this problem was too hard for chef he decided to ask you his genius friend for help and this is uh, nothing much can you find the lexicographically smallest anagram of s that contains p as a substring so we have to find lexicographically smallest uh, anagram of S that contains P as a substring. So uh, here uh, we have a definition of substring that what is substring? A string B is a substring of a string A if B can be obtained from A by deleting several possibly null or all character from the beginning and several possibly null or all uh, character from the end. Like uh, we have a string A, B, C, D. So let's uh, move on to the editor uh, and we have a string A, B, C, D. So B, C is a, a substring of this string because we can drive or find the uh, string B, C from A, B, C, D by deleting A and D from both the ends. Okay, so this is the definition of substring. So I hope in the problem description and problem statement is clear that uh, we have to find a string such that it is a lexicographically smallest string first of all and after that we have a substring that is equal to nothing but p okay so let's move on to the input so first line of the input contains a single integer t we have an integer t uh, which denotes the number of test cases the description of t uh, test cases follows uh, like we have as uh, integer t which represent the number of test cases and after that we have t lines first line of each test case contain a single string s and another line that is the second line of each test case contain a string single string p okay so we have uh, t test cases and in t test cases we have uh, two lines first uh, t line will have uh, will uh, represent a string s and another line that is the second line will represent the string p okay so this is the input format of the problem so uh, let's move on to the output of the problem for each test case print a single line containing one string the smallest anagram of s that contains p what we have to find okay so uh, let's talk about the constraint constraint that uh, we have the test cases uh, varies from 1 to 10 we have the uh, length of string p and s and that will be equal to that will be maximum of uh, 10 to the power of 5 uh, let, uh, it will uh, varies from 1 to 10 to the power of 5 s and p contains only lowercase english letters uh, this is the condition that s and p will only contain lowercase english letter okay so there is at least one anagram of s that contains p it is the condition that uh, um, one at least one anagram of s will always contain p okay 
so we have two subtask subtask one will have uh, s which is maximum of 1000 length okay so another subtask which is of maximum 10 to the power 5 length we have an example input also so test case 3 and we have a string called a k r a uh, like that and we have a substring that, uh, sorry we have a pattern a k a so example uh, output of this particular uh, problem is a a a k a uh, like you can see here we have a substring a pattern here a k a a k a like in the second also we have um, b o h o t y okay in the third also we have b a d uh, a w y as a sub string so let's move on to the approach of this problem that how we are going to approach for this problem okay so in the question as the question says we have two string first one is s and another one is p so as the question says we have uh, two conditions let's break this problem into two parts first we have to find lexicographically smallest string so to find the lexicographically smallest string what we can do is we can sort this string so that we will get smallest string which is lexicographically smallest string okay so after sorting the string the other condition is the second condition is we have to get a string in such a way that it contains it contains a p as a sub string so to get a string which is which contains p as a substring what we can do in the sorted string in the sorted s string we can eliminate all the occurrence of string p from the main string that is s because we will we cannot uh, change the length of our string we have to find an anagram not um, by manipulating the string or changing the length so we have to do with the given characters only what we are doing so we have to eliminate all the occurrence of letter or character from s which occurs in p because we cannot change or uh, alter the characters in p we have to put p as it is so after deleting all the occurrence of characters from s of p what we have to do the last task is to put this p string into s in an optimal position like we have a string a a b a b c d and we have a pattern that is a b a so after sorting this string what we are going to get is a a a b b c d okay so we have to put a b a in this string and we cannot change the uh, occurrence or um, order of this string okay so what we have to do we have to maintain the length also so we will uh, delete one a one b and one a from this string main string so we have this string left now we have to put this string into this string but the condition is it remains lexicographically smallest string so we will put a b a b c d this is the smallest string and the condition is also true as it contains a b a as a sub string okay so let's take an example uh, like we have a a a a after sorting the string we have this string b c and d now we have a k a okay so the condition is that if we uh, remove a k a from here like suppose we after removing the occurrence of a k a we left with this string now uh, the remaining uh, the uh, only part we have to do is we have to put this string into this string okay so uh, there are two condition like we will we can put here we can put here we can put here and we can put here too now what we have to do we have to search uh, we have to think uh, that where we should put this string to find the lexicographically smallest string so for this what we can do we can search we can find we can evaluate that 
either our string is in increasing order or in the decreasing order like this string is in increasing order and uh, this string is in decreasing order like after q we have a and in this we have after a we have k so this string is in increasing mode so if we put this string in here so we will get a k a a a a b c d so this is not lexicographically smallest string so the optimal solution will be we have a a a a and after that we will put a k a b c d so this is lexicographically smallest string because it has all the a's in the starting and this has a k in the starting so it will uh, increase from there to here okay so uh, to find the optimal position what we have to do we have to search that whether the pattern p is increasing order or in decreasing order to search this that it is either increasing or decreasing what we can do we can search uh, we can uh, iterate over each and every element and search that if we got an element which is greater than the initial element or if we got an element which is less than the initial element if we are getting the same occurrence like a a a k a if we are getting same occurrence as the initial letter then nothing to worry about it we will continue our search as soon as we get the large element then our previous element then our initial element we will uh, uh, stop our or break our loop and get out of the loop and we will put this increasing order string and the last of our multiple occurrence of a single character if there is no multiple occurrence of the character then we will simply put in the starting also okay if we have a decreasing string then we have to put this string into the initial um, occurrence of the multiple character i hope you got the point so let's move on to the solution uh, or we can say the code so that it will be better to you for understanding the solution so in this solution uh, we have map to uh, to store the frequency of each characters we will sort the string s after that we will run a loop from 0 to p p dot length and we will increase the frequency of each and every character okay after getting the frequency we will take a temporary string after that what we can do we will run a loop from 0 to s dot length and if we have uh, if we have this character frequency in our uh, in our map and that means it is not equal to um, frequency dot end we will decrease it if we have zero frequency that means uh, we don't have any occurrence of the character we will erase it okay uh, like if we don't have the occurrence of this character we will directly include it into the temp uh, like i said that uh, we will only include those character which are not present in p because we have to maintain the length of the s string also okay so after this what we can do is we will take a flag and uh, to get the p string that it is either increasing or decreasing we will do we will take flag initially it is false if we uh, encounter a um, character that is uh, less than the zero zeroth element initial element we will update our flag to true that means it is uh, decreasing otherwise we will uh, change it does not change any value flag remains false and we will break the loop if we encounter a great uh, a large element than the initial element that is it is a increasing string so after this we will find the occurrence like um, the place where we have to put our p string into the s string so we will use lower bound to get the if like we have flag true that means it is a decreasing state so we have to put our string into the lower bound of the uh, character like in the starting of the character so uh, we have a sort sorted string so we can use lower bound here like if we have false flag is false that is uh, the string is increasing so we will uh, store we will add the um, pattern p into the upper bound of the string s 
okay so i hope you know how to use lower bound and upper bound okay so after that we have the occurrence like where to put the p so what we can do is s equal to temp dot uh, substring zero to a, a occurrence like we have occurrence where to put so we will uh, take a substring from zero to that position plus the pattern plus from here to the last like uh, we have a string this and occurrence is this and we will have a remaining string this so we will take this substring plus pattern p plus this string uh, and this combined will make a resultant final string so we will put uh, we will see out or print our final string s okay so this is the naive naive approach let's move on to the optimal solution so the previous solution will take we go of friend time okay so we will not going to sort as i comment out this problem so i take the frequency array which is of 26 like we have 26 characters we will initialize it with zero so we will run a loop from zero to s dot length and we will update the occurrence of each character after that we will run a loop from zero to p dot length and we will reduce the uh, occurrence of each character so after this the frequency array will contain all the occurrence of characters which is present in s but not in p because we have to put p as it is we cannot put p like um, in a sorted array we have to maintain the order of p also so after that simply we will uh, this uh, technique will remain same as we have to find that whether the p is increasing or decreasing okay so we will take temporary string and we will run a loop from 0 to 26 and uh, if we have flag true that means it is a decreasing string and we got the character as p dot 0 uh, that means the initial character of p and so we will add the p the pattern into the temporary string as it is if this condition become false so we have flag equal to false and we got a character which is uh, immediately larger than the initial character of zero like uh, initial character suppose we have zero and we encounter a character that is b which is immediate uh, greater than the a okay so we will put the pattern here after that all the condition are true we will put the pattern p if this condition become false then we will add all the occurrence of this particular character this particular character into the temporary so after that we will print the temporary string so this is also the accepted solution okay so i hope you got the logic of this particular problem this is very easy problem so if you got the logic then do like this video and subscribe my channel for more upcoming videos related to the dynamic programming greedy algorithms and various topics so we will meet in the next video till then goodbye